in the line of fire. There's dogs here chained in the driveway. Dozens of dogs killed each year by police. By two shots. And it's costing a local police department big bucks. And tonight, Detroit police are refuting allegations that their officers are shooting dogs at an alarming rate. Lawsuits allege the officers have unnecessarily killed dogs on numerous occasions, but police tell defender Kevin Dietz the high number of drug raids is leading to a large number of dog deaths. Per capita, the city of Detroit is among the highest cities in America when it comes to police officers shooting dogs in the line of duty. It's cost taxpayers thousands of dollars in lawsuits, and it has some calling for more training. You're looking at police dash cam video, officers racing to a scene, a suspect is on the run, a manhunt is underway, and Detroit police think he's hiding in this backyard. Officers exit their cars with guns drawn. It's hard to see, but tethered on a chain to the side of the house is a barking dog. You hear an officer radio in to dispatch. I take this dog down. The dispatcher radios back. My man, 2639, did it take a fix, sir? Fire two shots. The dog's owner was not part of this crime. Oh, he's dying. His dog was not loose. It wasn't necessary under the circumstances. Uh, Attorney Chris Olson sued the city and won over $100,000 for the dog's owner. He says unnecessary dog shootings happen too often in Detroit. In another lawsuit, Olson is suing after police shot a dog that was secured behind a closed door. The police officers shot that dog to death through the door. Now, their story is that um, the dog opened the bathroom door and was coming out to eat them. The defenders pulled destruction of animal reports and found dozens of dogs are shot every year in Detroit by police, most during drug raids. Assistant Chief James White says killing dogs is an unfortunate reality in a dangerous drug war. In 2016, 1144 known narcotic locations uh, during those raids, uh, the teams unfortunately um, shot 31 dogs. He says if it were happening on regular police runs, it would be a problem. This isn't Fluffy the family pet in many instances. But not during drug raids. Door comes off the hinges, you know, there's pandemonium, people are running. Uh, perpetrator in many instances has a weapon themselves, can start shooting. Sometimes the dog is, is used as a tactic. We don't quarrel with police officers' right to defend themselves at all. Olson says his lawsuits have uncovered a lack of training when it comes to alternatives to shooting dogs. And he found one Detroit cop has killed 69 dogs. In my view, when you have shot 69 dogs in your work, I think that's hunting. We don't find that in the department that we have any officers that are, quote, hunting dogs. White says the officer responsible for 69 dog shootings has the most dangerous job in the department. First in the door, um, so, and, and there are the shotgun men on those raids. Calling the policy that officers can shoot a dangerous animal that is posing a threat, providing bystanders are not in jeopardy, a good policy. We're not perfect. If, if, if there is an instance that the actions were unreasonable, then it's important that we as managers take the appropriate uh, corrective action. Police say they will not be changing the policy, but they will look at programs that have worked in other cities in hopes of reducing the number of dogs killed on the streets of Detroit. Kevin Dietz, Defenders.